I'm Alex, I'm with Gettina, and we're gonna be going over your brand new mirror tables today. And there's gonna be three lively people that are gonna be helping me out with this as well. Yeah, not just me getting recorded. Congratulations, thanks for showing up. All right, so a quick like little overview of what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna go over your text and specs, basically just like what the table is capable of, uh, how to use it in, as far as like the comp controls and especially the remote. I'm gonna ensure that you guys are comfortable just with the accessory pieces. I know that you guys, some of this will be redundant. And then lastly, uh, batteries, accessory pieces, anything else that you may be putting onto the table. Anything that you guys want me to cover that maybe isn't mentioned there. Good morning, how are you? Good with that? Mm-hmm. Okay. First and foremost is table, uh, just as far as like general orientation keep in mind this is the head of the table this is the toes is what how I like to think of this so this is always your foot you can always reverse the orientation of the table on the remote or on the column we'll go over that in a minute this table can go from 23 inches at its lowest or at its lowest positioning all the, way up the to, all the way up to 42 inches in the highest position so you're gonna have more than enough capability to make things as ergonomic as possible. <coughs> nurses, doctors, anybody else. Hey, another one, how are you? This table will do a thousand pounds on, you know, without any kind of problems. Now, I am supposed to put in here that it will do 550 pounds with no restrictions. Basically the point being, if you have a thousand pound, uh, uh, yeah, don't put it on the head of the table. You will have some problems. But all these consider there are no restrictions at all with this table with the normal uh, extension plates, pieces, leg plates, 550 pounds all day long, do whatever you need to, uh, 1,000 pound overall capacity uh, if needed. All of these tables are also backwards compatible with anything that is McKay or getting that equipment. So your leg slings, any of your accessories, stirrups, arm boards, what have you. Now when it comes to your arm boards and side rails, all this stuff is universal, whether it's Berktold, Skytron, what have you, these are all standard side rails in the US. So anything that you have is compatible to go onto these side rails if you guys need it. Any questions on any of that? Okay. Some of the fun stuff, uh, it will do 35 degrees of Trendelenburg, 25 degrees of reverse trend <laughs> Trendelenburg, it has 20 degrees of tilt, in both direction and it also has 12 inches of horizontal slide in either direction that is motorized and all of this is controllable from the column and from the handheld remote so your anesthesiologist should be very happy about some of that head access or whatever it is that you guys need to do any questions on the tech spec weight limits accessory pieces for the table is 35, is that steeper than the previous McKay ability to do Trendelenburg in reverse? So currently we have to override the, mm -hmm. the bed in order to be to be able to go as steep as they <coughs> for guiding cases. Override like it'll stop and then you have to hit and it again. You bring the bed all the way up, slide all the way to the foot, and then go in Trendelenburg, and then it'll only go down so far. Mm -hmm. With the so controller. Then we have to override on the base to bring it down the rest of the way so the robot can come in. The controller will only allow you to go so steep. Yeah. Then gotcha. you can use the base controllers to, to go farther if you would like. I've put it in 35 degrees Trendelenburg without any issues. The, the point being is that these tables are built to be uh, not dummy proof, but that's what I'm gonna go with off the top of my head, which is that, you know, if it, <laughs> uh, like with the auditor, if you have a CR in the room, it will talk to a Siemens, you know, our tables can talk to Basically, it it tries to prevent you from putting the patient, yourself, or the table in a compromised position. Mm. So you may have to hit it. Like whenever you hit the leveling function, it will it won't just like snap back up. It will slowly but surely get into that position. So it's the same thing. It may take a little an extra second, but mm -hmm. at the risk of potentially putting the patient in a compromised position or going too fast in one way. Yeah, it may take an extra button push or what have you to get into that full trend or reverse trend. <coughs> um, okay, the remote. <coughs> we'll go over the column settings real quick first. 
you guys all want to get in here a little bit so that you can see pretty much everything that is on that remote you guys can see from here however it will not work as you can tell until you are hitting this button this is what allows you access to do everything that way if you are standing next to the table and your knee actually accidentally bumps into it you are not changing the orientation of your patient so hitting this then gives you access to do whatever it is you need to do on the table um as far as storage um, I know and Chandra brought up that this is always fun with these telescoping column panels, but obviously this is meant to project the hydraulic lift, which is most important for your table. I cannot recommend that you guys store or keep anything under here. I realize that happens, but what I would always recommend just for, make sure that you can at a minimum see these stickers. If you can see these stickers, nothing's gonna get sucked up under here, accidentally you know, pull off this column uh, protective cover. Can I see the stickers? Uh, don't store anything under here if you don't need to. I realize that, that it happens and it's a very convenient place. If you need to or have to, make sure you can at least see the stickers. That way nothing gets sucked up, cool? Okay, on to your guys' beautiful brand new remote. So, this remote, you guys now have a screen on this. Here we can see. That might've been very satisfying for somebody else to do, but I did it. You have 10 preset orientations on this remote. So if you wanna get into beach chair, if you want to reverse the orientation, these two inside buttons that line up with these two arrows will change the pages back and forth. Then if you're inside a page and want to access that, it's these outer buttons, click and hold, and now I have reversed the orientation of the table. Click and hold and you can go back. You can also store up to 10 preset positions on this cool. table as well. Cool. So if you have a doctor that prefers, you know that it's gonna go into beach chair or whatever kind of anesthesiology, reverse Trendelenburg, shorter, what have you, you can actually set a table and you can actually preset that and then name it for Dr. One, Dr. Four, whoever it is, you can pull up this folder, go right into it, click and hold it, and it will go right back into that setting. Any questions on the setting or kind of going back and forth on the remote? Can you help us get the, the settings for a couple different positions? Sure. Set on the bed? Of course. And there's 10 already on here. Mm -hmm. So... If you're just getting to beach chair, for example, or whatever else, some of these are already preset on here. Really all we need is Trendelenburg and reverse Trendelenburg. Okay, well you got those buttons right here. Yeah. You have two motor mounts on this table, here and here. So that of course is your leg plate going up, your leg plate going down, back up, and back down. You also have, your, again, your motorized longitudinal shift. It has to be in the lock position though. Hmm. Click and hold. This has a three point system underneath the base, which puts it into that like lock position, which you can then use this longitudinal shift, shift back and forth. And then of course you have your leveling button. Now this, the table will then yell at you once the back portion is level. Kind of like what you said about the Trendelenburg, it will not raise the leg position, it'll tell you on here. It'll say back to level. You then, after it's done yelling at you for a second, will rehold level, and then it'll bring the feet back up to the level position. And then again, it'll yell at you to let you know, hey, you're in a level position. Any questions at all on the remote? Of course, up and down, your tilt, your trend buttons, your two motor mounts, and then that is your memory button, which we'll, we'll go over. Any questions on the remote? Nope. Cool. Um, batteries. Batteries in this table will last for a week. That being said, I would recommend getting into a nightly routine. Plug it in every night whenever you're done. Unplug it in the morning for all your cases put it in the nearest cabinet or what have you. That's just 
It makes everybody it makes everything run a little bit better in case somebody forgot to charge it over the weekend. Um, once you plug it in, it will start running. Again, that plug-in port you all have plugged in. Your phone, a micro USB. It's a pretty obvious <coughs> setup from there to here. Two prong or three prong? Uh, three prong, I believe. This last one's for two. What's my app rider? On this end. Two? No, on no this I'm side. talking on the, the bed. bed. Side. Oh, on, on the, the bed, bed side, side. Yeah. yeah. That's two. So that way you could not mistake the cord that way. Right. Gotcha. And it wouldn't work on anything else. Two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Same way. Mm -hmm. Two. So again, it will last a week. I would recommend just getting into that nightly routine, plugging it in, and then it should you should have no problem at all running all day without cases and getting all this clutter off the ground. Mm -hmm. Um uh, leg sling. Uh so I know that uh, Shannon or Valerie asked me to kind of go over this, or I guess the rationale for it. Uh, to clarify, this is meant for transferring patients primarily, not for obviously heels to be dug into it and to be used to get them into a better position on the table. This is meant for, as just like an intermediate, very light extension in order to get folks into stirrups, lithotomy, uh, what have you, position. And again, it's really just supposed to be a convenience because this thing's only a couple pounds versus these leg plate extensions, which are, you know, 10, 15 pounds. Um, any questions on the leg slings? I know that eventually that a patient's gonna put their heel through one and then that happens, but these again. actually have held up really well. Yeah. These are the originals. Those are the ones we've had for yeah. years. I love to hear that. Yeah. Um, the good. Bertolds, all three of them were broke. Broke first week. Yeah. Don't even get me. <laughs> don't even get me started on that. But. Yeah. Well, you guys, you know, we all make mistakes. Right. It's okay. You're here now. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Um, other than that, I'm sure that you guys have all rearranged, taken the extension plates off and on. Um, it, it's the same thing with these headrests. You have the little trigger locks right underneath. Mm -hmm. and then of course you got the screws to lock them in. Lock. Yeah double articulating, headrest, anything that is currently on your Alpha Stars is backwards compatible to these. So for some reason, one of these gets uh, dinged up. This male to female end all works even uh, with those tables over there. So if you are short an extension plate, can't find, somebody took one of these, those tables, I'm not sure what exactly you guys plan on doing with them, you guys can use those on here. Um, I'd recommend keeping all this together, mm -hmm. but I realize that I'm uh, thinking, uh, people like to steal little stuff. labels to mark the new ones versus old. Should be, I mean, yeah. your old ones I think are blue, so that should be a giveaway. Um, other than that though, any questions on the table itself, leg sling, accessory, extension plates, anything like that? Pretty used to the same bed. Cool. Pretty close. Mm -hmm. um, these guys, just to go over real quickly, this is our soft foam core padding. It's 80 millimeters thick, obvious Velcro. There's also these holes on the underside. These are just meant for breathability. Yeah. These actually do not absorb or suck in moisture, but it's really just to make sure that these things stay dry if they were to get wet. And I'm glad they set them on the sides, the Velcro, because mm -hmm. the other ones were down the middle. It was hard to keep them. Ah. Well, yeah. So we went to the side and yeah. obviously then gave you a few more strips it's as a lot well, more which sturdy. Should, should hold up for the long run. Um, other than that, we've got height, orientation, trend, tilt, slide, weight. We'll go over the memory stuff. Batteries, accessories, uh, leg plate sling, and then again, any other accessories that you guys run into. Does anybody mess with the arm boards or know about the little, this little toggle right here? Yeah, just like the other one. Okay, cool. Just making sure you guys are good with that. Other than that, this is everything that comes with your table, the body straps, the remote, uh, all the, this one's fully put together from how I uncrated it. Uh, that's about all that I've got. Do you guys have any questions for me? Not all at once. No, at time. Where are your cookies? Where's the coffee? Is that the next question? Okay. 
I've been good, Alex. Do I get a reward? Okay. I think we're good. All right.